Taksim Square is 7 to 8 minutes walk from my apartment. During the late Ottoman period, Sultan Mahmud I arranged Taksim as a point where the main water lines from north of Istanbul were collected and branched off to other districts of the city. Therefore, the square took its name from the big stone reservoir located on the west side of the square. Taksim means distribution in Turkish. Today, Taksim Square is the heart of modern Istanbul. There are many hotels and restaurants around Taksim Square and you'll find the bars and clubs around the nearby Istiklal Street. The whole area is lively at all times of the day. The most noticeable feature of Taksim Square is the Independence Monument, sculpted by Pietro Canonica to celebrate the foundation of the Republic of Turkey. The monument is standing at the beginning of Istiklal pedestrian street. This is also the turnaround point for the old tram, which is the only vehicle permitted on Istiklal street, besides official police and government cars. The monument describes Atatur, founder of the Republic, as a military commander-in-chief and a statesman. Since its opening, the monument became the center spot of official ceremonies in Istanbul. Across this monument on the other side of the square, there is a huge building which is Atatürk Cultural Center. Istiklal Street extends from Taksim Square to the Karakoy area, which is one of the most famous streets of Istanbul and one of the oldest trams in the city breaks through it and goes back for about a hundred years. Istiklal Street is one of the places that bustle with life until late at night and you can see many music bands and street artists who spread along the street and on its sides at the beginning of the night or even in the evening and you will see lots of people standing and enjoying and listening to them. Istiklal Street is almost two and a half kilometers long and it runs from Taksim Square all the way to the famous Galata Tower. It was known as the Kadi Kabir, which means Grand Avenue, during the Ottoman period, when it attracted an intellectual crowd. Later, it became the place to stroll for the French Levantines, who knew it as the Grand Rue de Pera. It became Istiklal Street or Istiklal Kadesi, following the creation of Republic of Turkey. Istiklal Street is dotted with old palaces, mansions and embassies from the 19th century that are now home to high-end retailers. At the end of the 18th century, French, English, Dutch, Greek, Venetian, Spanish, Russian, Swiss and Perusian diplomats built their winter manors in the area. Along with this, multinational population came the still existing variety in religious buildings, such as the Roman Catholic Churches of Santa Maria and St. Anthony of Padua Cathedral, the Greek Orthodox Hagia Triada, the Armenian Church and many other churches and synagogues. Established in the late 18th century, the Church of St. Anthony of Padua holds a significant place in Istanbul's religious history. the largest Catholic church in Istanbul.
there are many museums and galleries which are tucked into its side streets too making it somewhere which will certainly take more than a day to explore around 3 million people are thought to pass down istiklal street every single day almost every single part of istanbul has a link with taksim either by metro tram taxi bus or walking another fun way to travel down is the klal street is to take a ride on the iconic red nostalgic tram which was first installed in the 19th century and restored in the 1990s The whole area is lively at all times of the day. The square is also a popular place for locals to celebrate New Year's Eve, parades and other concerts. Istanbul is one of the few cities in the world that spans two continents, Europe and Asia. This gave it an interesting mix of eastern and western influences. Aside from diverse the city is also huge most of its attractions are concentrated in two main two districts one is taksim and the other one is sultan ahmed while taksim and sultan ahmed both sit on the european side of istanbul they are still separated by golden horn a natural waterway named as such because the water appears golden from the sun's reflection at sunset the galata bridge crosses the golden horn linking these two areas the districts have distinctly different vibes if you feel like learning about istanbul's history and doing some sightseeing then sultan ahmed is the place to visit for shopping and a buzzing nightlife taksim is the place to go jab hum log the istanbul mein to us waqt turkiye ki jamhuriyat ki 7 saala taqreebat ka aaghaz ho chuka tha aur har jagah khoob roshniyon se aur jhandon se sajaya hua tha mukhtalif taqreebat ho rahi thi mukhtalif concerts ho rahe the पूरे शहर में गहमा गहमी थी और इस्तलाल स्ट्रीट और ये जो टैक्सम का एरिया ख़ास तौर पर बहुत उमदगी से सजाया गया था और ईद का सा समा था और रात के दो दो बजे तक हर चीज़ खुली हो होती थी और आप रात के दो बजे भी खाने के लिए चले जाएं तमाम रेस्टोरेंट्स खुले थे शॉपिंग की बहुत सारी दुकानें खुली होती थी यू कैन फाइंड अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इस्तम्बोल इन एवरी कॉर्नर There is a hidden story of the city everywhere. Religions, languages and ethnic groups live brotherly around here. It's the center of art and culture. Many national, international and local activities reach art lovers through the neighborhood. Taksim aur Istiklal Street ke ilake mein beshumar restaurants hain. Har qisam ki cuisine aapko milti hai. Aur humne socha ki hum wahan ke bahut acche एक कबाब हैं ज़ुबैर के नाम से वो रेस्टोरेंट है और ज़ुबैर और कबाशी आप अक्सर जब वहाँ जाएं तो आपको पहले से बुक करना पड़ता है क्योंकि आपको सीट नहीं मिलती बैठने का अंदर भी इंतज़ाम है आप स्टेयर्स डाउन स्टेयर्स और बाहर भी कुर्सियाँ लगी हुई हैं लेकिन कई दफ़ा वो बहुत दिन पहले से उसमें पूरी बुकिंग हुई होती है आप ज़ुबैर का खाना ज़रूर ट्राई कीजिएगा मगर कोशिश करें कि पहले से बुक करवा कर जाएँ You can also visit the Whirling Dervish House and Museum. This museum was built in tribute to the ceremony conducted by the Turkish Order of Whirling Dervishes. The ceremony denotes an ancient practice of spinning in a deep prayer trance, arms raised in praise of God. It is a ceremony that only those admitted into the order can perform. and is one of the most fascinating spectacles that travelers can witness in turkey
खाने के बाद हमने थोड़ी वॉक की और फिर हमने सोचा कि कुछ मीठा खाया जाए वहाँ पर रेस्टोरेंट्स मीठे के अलहदा ही रेस्टोरेंट्स हैं बहुत मज़े का मीठा मिलता है तो हमने वहाँ पे हाफिज मुस्तफ़ा की तरफ सोचा कि वहाँ जाके कुछ मीठा खाया जाए इस्तंबुल एक ऐसी जगह है कि साल के बारह महीने आपको ज़िंदगी का एहसास होता है हर वक्त रौनक और गहमा गहमी होती है और ये मेरा फेवरेट जगह है मेरी जो मुझे बहुत ही खुशी देती है